Welcome to Microwave Delights! Hello, Air Pink. What do you have there? Looks delicious. Isn't that neat? How long do we cook that? You'll be full in no time. Time to prepare that wonderful food. Make sure you follow the instructions. Just the press of a button and we're cooking! While you're waiting, you can occupy your time with an important activity. Look! It's TV magic! Time to enjoy that delightful meal! Today I am joined by special guest Pusha! Today's episode of Microwave Delights is filled with fun, brunchy breakfast items. We have the Jimmy Dean stuffed hash browns, the Jimmy Dean pigs in a blanket things, and uh, our drink for the day will be Wilson Creek Orange Mimosa. They got the whole mimosa in, in the bottle. Um, I'm noticing now that this is super clear. Mm -hmm. There's no orange. So, so there's in definitely there. no real oranges in here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're wondering um, where that flavor is coming from. Yeah, we're gonna find out. But first, uh, let's go ahead and start with our little uh, sausage and blanket bites. Okay. These are sausage wrapped in pancake. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. You get a little mm -hmm. bit of maple coming out of there. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm a big fan of the texture. I mean, yeah, they're really soggy and spongy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not too turned off by the flavor, though. No, the flavor is good. It definitely has that maple mm -hmm. taste. Good oh, cross section here. Kind of buttermilk. Oh. oh, yeah. That sausage is like the. The sausage looks like the dough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like super spongy. Have you ever bought like really, really, really cheap uh, meatballs in the yeah, freezer? Yeah. <laughs> That's what the texture is coming out of this. It's like. Mm -hmm. Maybe 15% of it's actually meat. <laughs> They're like the vegetable meatball things that we got from Ikea. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. I love those. Well, even those are better than this, actually. But... <laughs> <They're really laughs> I mean, texturally. <laughs> texturally, yes. It is a very even texture, though. You're right. Like, you can't tell the difference between the pancake wrapping and the actual sausage. It kind of reminds me of those, like, old McDonald's uh, documentary films or whatever, where they show how they make the... Um, the chicken McNuggets. Uh-huh, the pink slime. It's just the pink slime. Yeah, this is all just different versions of pink slime that they've slapped together. Obviously it was pretty good because I finished mine before mm. yours, so... <laughs> <laughs> before we get to the main course, of course we have to have our drink. The almond and orange flavored sparkling wine. It's almond? Orange? Coming in at 11% ABV. I don't know why there's almond. Exactly. <laughs> I didn't even know and that. Mimosa? Okay. It's like hidden on here. That, yeah. I'm, like, make that a selling point. Don't like hide that. BTW almond. <laughs> also, uh, a thing that's never in a mimosa. <laughs> yeah, like, it, that's. Wow. That is a very strange thing to mix there. Yeah, I'm not sure if so that's no sediment either, right? Yeah, no, no, there, no nope. it's flavored. No pulp. Okay. Orange. Pulp free. Flavor. It's severely pulp free. You think they put the almond in there so you get kind of like a Bellini effect as well? Mm, maybe. Is almond part of the Bellini? I know. I'm no, just... but it's all sweet. <laughs> You're so brave. That freaks me out. I can be very gentle with my mimosas. <laughs> um, it's, I guess it's kind of an off orange color. Oh. It <laughs> should oh, That. Nothing coming out of a bottle shape like this should ever be colored like that. Yeah. That looks like old E. Although if I didn't, if I wasn't expecting a mimosa, I wouldn't be too worried about that. Mm -hmm. yeah. That would be one of those. It's still like if somebody handed this to me and I didn't see what it came out of or, or nobody told me what oh, it was, yeah. I'd be like, okay. No, I mean, yeah, you'd be fine yeah. with it. Uh, somebody, yeah, yeah like where I was saying, drink. they got us some old E or Perhaps. some Coors Light even. Like a hard mm -hmm. cider. That would be one of those. Exactly. If somebody handed me that in a cup. I'd probably spit it out because I was thinking it was one thing in the flavor. <laughs> I don't know about that. You don't look too too uh, too certain. <laughs> There's weird things happening. The almond. Yeah, the almond comes yeah. strong. Yeah. At like at, like as an aftertaste. Got a dryness to it, like a cook's. Uh huh. You know. Sort of in the middle. There might have been an orange. Like it. 
it, it touched yeah. it at the taint of an orange <laughs> as it was diving into the, the bowl of almonds. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just been kissed. <laughs> it's been blown a kiss by an orange. Mm -hmm. What does the almond do more? <laughs> no, there's an almond <laughs> orgy that happened after that. <laughs> the almond stuffed my the face orange, into the corner. The orange of my came couch. late to the party, I think. Yeah. I feel like they were trying to make something else with almonds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're like, they like, shit, we'll just call this mimosa. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> I guess that's vaguely orange. It's a mimosa. You're fine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that there's maybe like 200 of these that were actually made. And it was just a bad batch of whatever yeah. like, almond it, syrup. It it yeah. yeah, it's like they yeah. knocked over some almond syrup into it. And it was like, oh, oh shit. Like, maybe that's just mimosa? champagne and arsenic. And they're just... Still trying to pass it off. Oh god. Yeah. Uh, oh no. <laughs> I know we're like we're oh. all gonna die now. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a mimosa though? No. No. Yeah, definitely. I would not. It is definitely not the words that it says it is no. on the bottle, except for the almond that's really tiny. Let's move on. Let's try our, our final course here. The the stuffed hash brown. I don't even need a fork. I'm just gonna grab it like a man. Be dainty. <laughs> Cheers. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> it's really salty, but no, oh, this is like high octane hangover food. Yeah, that's what this is. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm a glass half full kind of guy, <laughs> so I kind of like this. Uh, uh, I like it too. The hash browns are strangely not very hash browny. I'm not sure how to explain it. It's got the same doughy thing that was going on with the... Yeah, it's like they have a layer of hash brown-like mm -hmm. product on the surface, mm -hmm. but it's actually doughy uh, underneath that surface layer. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but if I was hungover, I would want to eat like 300 of these. Yeah, I totally <laughs> eat this. This would be perfect. And like I am now. And uh, uh, you want to go super white on this. You need like a side of ketchup that you're just dipping the whole thing in. Oh my god. <laughs> ketchup sounds really good right yeah, now. You no. need, oh my god, that's what you need. You need a little bit of that vinegary like sweetness yeah. to offset because yeah. it is really salty. It is super salty. You get a little bit of uh, something to cut that. Mm -hmm. And this is perfect. Perfect, uh, like, I don't even know if it's, you need to be hung over. You just need to be drunk and you would mm -hmm. enjoy this a lot. <laughs> I would say that the um, little bites that we just had, Four. Four? And then this guy. Hash brown. Six. By the fact that they're lying to us. <laughs> this is clearly an almond mimosa. <laughs> um, I'm going to give it a two. I would give the, the bites. I have to give that like a six. Uh, this thing, um, at the level of sober I am right now, it's, it's, it's a four and a half to a five. Uh, in about two hours, this is gonna be like an eight. I don't even, I don't know how to comprehend this. I'll give that a three. <laughs> that feels about right. <laughs> Pasha, thank you so much for joining me for our late night brunch today. Oh, I with enjoyed that. This crazy almond contraption. Mm -hmm. If you've ever tried this, <laughs> I need to know more about know, this. Yeah, I want to ask, I, w I want other people's opinions. Where this. did this come from? Why the almond? Yeah, if you do enough backstory into this company's, you know, history, mm -hmm. does it just stop at some point? I need to know so much more about I this. I might be able to forget the lies. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching.